right guys welcome to blacktop cruisers it's been a few weeks since we put some content up so i thought what i would do is uh show you guys the proper way to mount an ls to an engine stand if you don't want to spend a hundred dollars and get a mounting plate okay so the bolts you're going to need are 80 mil well depending depending on the size of the collar on your engine stand plate okay i had to use 80 millimeter long m10 by 1.5 thread okay and i just got these from ace hardware cost me all of like i don't know ten dollars and that's all i need okay so when you put this on here there's some guys they're gonna they're just gonna bolt it here here and then here and here. Personally, I'd like a little support up at the top. So we're gonna go up at the top bolt, that's right up pretty much up towards the middle. And then we're gonna get this one, and we're gonna get that one, and then that one, okay? So, excuse me while I do this. Oh, oh, get in the hole. Ah, there we go. There we go. Grab the trusty DeWalt. There we go. And then I don't. Tighten these mounting bolts that go into the block. I don't tighten them down until I get my mount kind of right where I want it. We're pretty much dead center with the engine. We're above the crank, so we're closer to the weight distribution where the weight is all at the top with the heads on and everything. So that is all you need to put your engine on the engine stand. Just go to spend the $10, get the bolts you need. Don't use your accessory drive bolts. I mean, if you have bell housing bolts and they're right, go for it but don't have to put you know a couple nuts out here to get it spaced out so you're not in too far and make sure you got about you know a minimum of a half inch of thread engagement okay that's safe but usually you want to go you know three quarters of an inch if you can so all right guys there she is on the stand ready to get tore apart She's sitting pretty nice there. So, you know, I see that's the full weight and I've got upward angle. Okay, we're not leaning down. This brings up another point, safety. Do not buy the $20 Harbor Freight or whatever Chinese made engine stand. Okay, you know, the ones that have just the one bar that comes out here and the couple dinky fucking wheels and dinky fucking wheels. Don't buy those. Buy yourself a nice high quality engine stand. It is worth the money that you will save when that dinky little stand folds in half when you have your engine on it, okay? Just be aware. Buy a good stand. Spend your money on it. It's worth it. Thanks, guys.